Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a quick update video of my uh, DIY electric rims brewing system uh, which I've had for about three years now and if you've been following my channel for a little while you'll know that I've slowly added and changed and swapped out parts etc. Um, at the heart of it has always been the um, Still Spirits uh, boiler here with the concealed 2, two kilowatt element um, and on the previous upgrade I made was I swapped out my DIY grain basket and put in this um, Robo Brew malt pipe which fits inside very nicely and as you can probably spot already um, I have uh, replaced the previous pump had a little tight actually I've got it here I had a little tiny um, 12 volt brushless DC um, pump here which blew up as, as luck would have it on the last brew day so I have upgraded to a bigger magnetic drive pump this is the one from Keg King it's the Mark II version and uh, yeah there she is there so I've just hooked it all up I haven't done a, a test run yet so I've put some water in the bottom and I thought we could uh, fire it up together on video uh, so yeah, I'll just quickly run over everything else in case you haven't seen the system. And what you can see in the bottom there is on the left we have the um, thermal well. And then on the bottom there of your screen that's the back of the um, ball valve which I can screw in a bazooka screen. And then sitting above that is a stain stainless steel rack. Um, and I've used nuts and bolts, stainless steel nuts and bolts to just elevate it above the tap in the thermal well. And then the basket so you put the grain in as you probably would have seen in previous videos lower it down seat it onto the uh, onto the tray like so and then uh, yeah we'll hook up the sparge ring so I might just cut it there quickly and we will come back and uh, do that and we'll fire up the pump okay so we've got the uh, sparge ring uh, in place it's pretty pretty rough and ready and that will probably be in the next upgrade is to replace the sparge ring or make a better one um, yeah so it's all basically ready to go I forgot probably forgot to mention and you've probably seen it already but this is the STC controller the temperature probe goes into the thermal well and then the boiler plugs into the heat side of the STC so basically that turns the boiler on and off um, to maintain the correct temperature but anyway let's uh, let's fire up the pump um, so it's all hooked up so the first thing I need to do is open up the ball valve on the outside of the pump and this is also going to be used as you'll see is like to throttle back the flow going into the into the sparge ring so that's open we can now open the tap here and that should flush any air bubbles which it has so it's pushed the water level above the uh, above the pump there and then in theory we can just turn the pump on and there we go voila so yeah it's working working well so this is the first time I've uh, tried it um, with the barge ring and everything attached so uh, very happy with how that's performing. Um, I was thinking about putting little, um, what do you call them, jubilee clips on here and here and here, but um, one of the guys, Tim, he said that the pipe, the tubing fits really well on its own and you don't really need them, but I might put them on there just for peace of mind. So yeah, as you can see, it's pumping out, um, pumps 19 litres per minute. Um, and then if I want to sort of reduce the flow, I can just sort of turn the, or close the ball valve off. And if I do that, you can see that that um, is just reducing the flow. So if, it's, if the research's going too fast and the water's building up on top too much, I can just throttle it back. And then if I want a bit more, I can just open her up a bit more. Um, and apparently you always have the ball valve on the outside of the pump. And because it is a magnetic drive pump, there's no danger of uh, burning it out by restricting the flow on the outside. And you don't get um, a problem with um, 
air building up in the pump if the ball valve was on the outside there. Okay guys, so I think that's uh, just about everything covered. I'm very happy with the wet run, so I'll be keen to do a brew day on it shortly. Um, if I've missed out anything or any information, just um, yeah, throw, a, throw a comment below and I'll um, do my best to answer it. And uh, yeah, well, let's bring on the next brew day and um, see this uh, in a real world uh, test. So thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. Over and out. Cheers.